she is there, always with the biggest smile and making things happy for this and for everything in Madrid. Thank Begonia. you. Thank it's you, your Maria. time. Well, let me speak a little bit about Maria because the first time I worked with her, well, the first time we met, I was like truly surprised. You know, there are like some people in Madrid that actually make the city work, and she's one of them. She's one of the persons that I was like, I was, it was, I was totally infatuated with her because she started with South Summit in a really, really um, typical moment. Uh, the hugest, the biggest recession I believe in democracy, and we're talking about two, uh, 2008, you know, that recession. And she, like, she wanted to start the project in the middle of the recession, which is totally crazy. So that's Maria, and this is South Summit right now. Um, we need people like this. Uh, I've worked a lot, uh, I've worked a lot these past two years, I've been so honored to be the deputy mayor of Madrid. It's such an honor for me, it's like, I love this year so much, I love this city so much. But let me tell you something, no matter how much we do, the real secret of Madrid is the, it's a very powerful civil society. That's just a key point. And what you have to do as a mayor, as a deputy mayor, as a governor, is just be, um, your ears need to be wide open to their projects, to their ideas, to the, all the imagination, because people are, they want to start doing things that you just, I have to do, you know, let things, let things happen. And that's what we've done uh, for the past two years. And I wanna, we don't have that much time anymore. There's a lot of traffic jam is running in, is raining in Madrid, finally. And, but I do want to do, speak to you about something that we started uh, these past two years. It was a dream that I had when, when I was little. And, and, you know, when people talk so much about politicians and politics, you know, uh, now that I'm not a politician anymore, let me tell you about politicians. Please trust in them. Because we're not bad people, we're just like you. We're, we are the people, that's how it is. I mean, the United States, they know this by fact, and it is a reality. And what you can do with politicians saying, is to make dreams come, tr come true, which is actually what's happening right now in South Summit. So I did have a dream when I was little. Um, I saw that, you know, surrounding Madrid, we have a, we had like nothing just by like poor earth. We have like uh, deportations. Uh, we have like degradation, you know, surround the city of Madrid, and we do have problems with the desertification. Um, you don't get you don't get to hear so much about that because we're, when we're talking about pollution and we're talking about climate change, actually, is northern other countries which are like setting the points. But we, the, the cities that are actually in the south of Europe, we do have a problem with, uh, with the certification, we do have a problem with pol uh, pollution, we do have a problem with climate change. So we thought that the answer to that was to build, when we were running for elections, we're talking about 2019, everybody was coming up with like huge bridge, huge tunnel, you know, like gray infrastructures. So we came up with a green infrastructure, the biggest that was going to be built for the next 10 years in Madrid. I mean, that is the Metropolitan Forest. We're talking about 75 kilometers of forest that we're going to, are going to surround the city of Madrid. We're not talking about that park, we're talking about a forest. The difference is that we are not gonna use palm trees, we are not gonna use, I don't know how to say platanos in, in, in English, but you know, we're not going to bet for like, uh, not autochthonous species that actually do grow very fast. So when you run for the elections, they're big. We're going to bet for generations, not elections. So we're going to bet for pines, hensins, you know, very slow growing trees, but our trees, the, tr the trees of Madrid. Because we're in, it needs to be sustainable for us. So right now, by that point, we have 75 hectares that are actually growing in the city of Madrid. 16 of them are all actually open. Uh, for the public to visit, so I highly recommend you to go to visit this. And it's going to be one of the biggest projects, project that is going to be done. Uh, for me, if you ask me, is the project, project of this government. It's the biggest project that we built. And actually, United Nations have chosen the Metropolitan Forest of Madrid as one of the samples of the world. And you probably think, you know, how come I never heard about the Metropolitan Forest? Who knew about the Metropolitan Forest here? Raise your hand. One. And it's the 
biggest thing that is actually happening in Madrid. How come only one person heard about it? Because when, oh, we're about to finish. Because sometimes we just talk about politicians. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about projects. We don't talk about ideas, but that's the most important thing. So it is the very first time that the city of Madrid is going with the nature and not against nature. And this is what I'm leaning to you. Please take care of it, let it grow. And I hope the next 10 years we meet again under the shadow of one of these trees. Thank you so much. <laughs>